Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Carletta Elston and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get updates of all of my latest videos. Today, I kind of just wanted to check in and see how everybody is doing and let you know what's going on in my world. Um, somebody recently asked me, how is my quarantine going? I'm not going to lie, I didn't even know what that meant, so I had to look it up on Google. And um, <laughs> I'm an introvert by nature, so this ain't nothing but a breeze to me. But, you know, we all know it's a lot of chaotic and uh, fearful energy going around. Um, there's a lot of worrying and depression. You know, everybody is pretty much, you know, thinking about what's next. And I kind of just wanted to throw out a couple tips so, you know, if you found them useful... You could implement them in your day, daily routine for the next couple of weeks and how or however long this is going to last. And hopefully it'll be shorter than we think. But you know, we got to make the best out of the situation. We got to look at it um, from a standpoint of how can I use this to my advantage? And how can I learn from this situation what can i do to to better prepare for this type of crisis that may happen in the future these are the type of questions that i think are most important that we ask ourselves and um just really uh limit our time from watching the news i know it's kind of like a daily routine for some of us we gotta see what's going on on the news but most of us that are woke know that <laughs> the news is nothing but propaganda. They're not doing anything but putting fear into us and making us paranoid. So I suggest that we limit our time on there, limit our time on social media if we can, and check up on our loved ones, check up on our families and um, our friends, the people that we care about, and be kind and as compassionate as possible. Um, because... Everybody has their different situation going on. Some of us are uh, off from work. Some of us uh, are worried about being off from work. Some of us, you know, um, might lose out on money. You know, it's it's a lot of stuff that's that's uh, going to be affected with this that's happening, but. Like I said, it's mind over matter, you know, so it's all about how we think about it. And I think that it's best that we focus on the things that we have right now as well. Give our energy to being more appreciative and more grateful for the things that we have in this moment instead of what we don't have. And uh, focus on a craft, focus on a craft or a skill that you have or a hobby. Uh, for me, I recently got into painting, and that's something that I really enjoy doing. It's been a pretty good release for me, and um, I think I'm pretty good at it, you know, if I must say so myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to put energy into perfecting that, you know. I haven't been putting much videos of singing, but that's something I'm going to get more into as well. Uh, journal. If you are full of emotions and thoughts and things, sit for a time period and Write, you know, write what your thoughts are, write what your feelings are. Talk to your higher self and ask what it is that you can do to implement more of your your higher self into your human experience. Um, make a playlist of what is it that you enjoy listening to. Make a good collaboration of different songs and you put it together and listen to that and dance, you know, move around. Um, another good thing you can do is splash some water on your face, some cold water on your face, just to, you know, shock you and, and get you out of your head and more in the moment and, and out of your feelings. Um, connect with nature. One thing that I started doing um, about a couple months ago is just getting outside and, and sitting outside and really just taking in that fresh air and taking everything in and, and reading. You know, I like to go out and, and read. And just t about 10 minutes at, at the most, you know. Some people are walking around with masks right now. And to be quite honest, it's not going to do any good. Because the so-called virus that is out is stronger than 
a mask itself. So it's just going to go right through it. But, you know, whatever makes you comfortable. But I just suggest that you do get some fresh air. You know, being in nature is the most healthiest thing that we can do. And that's the worst thing that we can separate ourselves from. And I think that's another thing that this whole situation is um, reminding us that we need to be more connected to our earth that we live on and not treat it so bad. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much everything that I have written down on my paper here. Or I've been taking some notes for myself and just also ins look up inspiring quotes. You know, if you are down or depressed or whatever, you know, if you want some encouragement, look up something inspiring, you know, to lift your spirits. And uh, just try not to be as judgmental of people, you know, because I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do it, you know. It's natural. It's just a normal thing, you know. Some things um, bother us about people because we don't understand, but then we have to put ourselves in their shoes and realize that we don't all have the answers. We're always students in this game of life. We're always constantly um, learning something different. And we have to realize that everybody is not at the same point of, of our journey. We all have different journeys, and that's the main thing. So um, the best thing that you can do with somebody you feel like doesn't understand you is be understanding. And um, realize that you don't have to tear somebody down and lift yourself up. And if you got to do that, then there's a problem within yourself. So those are my, my thoughts. Um, I hope you guys stay strong, um, stay focused on what it is that you want in your life, uh, reflect on that, and remain positive, and peace and love. <laughs>